What's up guys? We're all in here. This time on 3D Nerd Stop, we're going to print out some micro catapults. All right guys, here we are. These are the micro catapults we're going to print out. Now I've actually got two of them I'm going to print out because I couldn't decide which one would actually work better. Um, there's actually more than just these two on Thingiverse, but these are the two I like the most, so these are the two I picked from. So we have this catapult here, and we also have this catapult. Um, I, one thing that interests me about this catapult is the fact that it prints flat like this, and then it hinges up and everything into the catapult position, so I think that's pretty cool. And this one prints standing up like this. And then you can bend it back and fire it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I figured we'd give them both a shot. So of course we I downloaded both of their files. Loaded them up in Cure. And I loaded them up together in the same file. So I could do the same print with them. And as you can see, putting them both in here, it's going to take about 3 hours and 3 minutes to print. That's 11.74 meters, which is roughly 35 grams of material. Now we are going to print this with our standard settings with a layer height of 0.2, shell thickness of 1.2, uh, top and bottom thickness at 1.2, and a fill density of 20%. We're going to do our print speed at 60, our print temperature at 210, and our bed temperature at 50. And we're not going to print it with any support material because you don't want to put any support material on all this. So all this is going to print, should print just fine without support material. Okay. So let's get this saved off to the SD card. We'll get the printer heated up and get her printing. Alright guys, here you go. Here's the first one of the two. 
Uh, this is the one that prints out flat. All you have to do is just fold the trigger back here and then fold back the actual catapult part itself. Um, now this one folds back real easy. It was not hard to break the joints free. In order to fire it, you just lock it down into position, load it, and then fire it with two, two fingers. And this one fires really well. Uh, here's a distant shot of me firing it. Um, now this thing shot all the way across the room and it actually went up so much that it actually hit the ceiling. Uh, it shot really well. Now here's the second one. And as you can see on the second one, it didn't print out perfectly. Um, it did print out and it is functional. But as you can see here, let's get a close up of it. You can see the neck got overheated while it printed. The neck was too hot while printing. Um, now there are ways around this. You can cool the head down a little bit. You can make it take longer to print these layers. You could slow the print down would help some. Um, now I did print another one, which I'll show you later on how to fix it. Now to fire it, you just lock it back into position, load it up and pop the trigger. Now this one shoots fairly well. It's not quite as powerful as the other one. Um, this one shot almost as far across the room, but it nearly go as high. It didn't hit the ceiling. Um, so it did okay. When I reprinted it, I did four of them at once on the build plate. So by reprinting with four of them at once, as you can see here, oops, focus. It printed out really well. The neck came out almost perfect. It printed really nice because it had enough time to cool between each printing of each neck. Okay, in order to fire this one's the same thing. Now I did notice with this one the first time, because this is the first time I tried to cock it back, I couldn't get it to catch. So in order to fix that, all I did was let it go forward and push the trigger forward a little bit, and then it caught just fine. But I did have one issue with this one. As you'll see here, when I loaded it, I touched the trigger and it like pops it out. Oops, so let's recock it again. And then I got it to fire. Um, when I did the distant shot, I had the same problem. I went ahead and cocked it. I put the ball in it. Put my finger down and the first time I touched the trigger the ball popped out and then I had to put the ball back in and shoot it. And it shot pretty well. It shot about as far as the other one did. So in conclusion, we have the two catapults here. They both work. They both work really well. If you want one that's going to shoot a really long distance, I would go with the one on the left. If you want one that's going to shoot a shorter distance, i go with the one on the right. Um, but all in all, they do great. They both worked out well and they're actually pretty nice prints. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, have a great day.